Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't take anything personally. Ignore the opinions of others. Whatever people do, feel, think, or say, don't take it personally. Others are going to have their own opinion according to their belief system, so whatever they think about you is not about you, but it's about them. That, that's a tricky one. I, I don't get the end of that card, man, but after so many years, I guess I better start getting it, huh? <laughs> Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 142, NASDAQ off 7.5, S&P's down 15. Gold, gold contract down to $9.90, traded at 1832 an ounce. We had silver down 41 cents, 21 dollars 61 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down two dollars 52 cents, 73 dollars 84 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10-year note up four ticks, trading 111.06. The 30-year up 15 at 124.18 in King Dollar. King Dollar is up 397 ticks at 104.574. Euro is at 106. Yen is at 134, and the British pound is at 120 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we get over here. We'll take a look at the futures first. It's trying to basically blow away this low that's out there. I expect we're going to get it blown away, by the way, okay? Um, you take a look at it. We got below it, so what's the number we're looking at? Yeah, it's 30, well, it's only a point above it. No, it's a point below it right now. I expect what you're gonna see here, folks, okay? So watch this. When you have something like this, what you can do projection-wise is that you don't take, I wouldn't take the top here. I take this one over here, like, because this is, this is, yeah, watch this. This is a small consolidation that's been in place, okay? So I'm not taking the bottom here, nor the top here, right? I'm taking where it's traded the most. And if I take the top of this, that's 4020, and then take the bottom, which is 3996, gets you 24, right? Well, you take the 24 away from the 95, and the bottom line is you get 70, right? So that's where I expect we're going to close out at. That, that's just a price projection. You get an hour to do it. We'll see how this shakes out. But that would be how you do a price projection intraday when you're trading. We go take a look at the NQs. NQs haven't made it to the bottom yet. Bottom line, we'll see if they do. Um, I suspect we're going to. Why? Because you're building cause. You know, the NQs, they ticked off the lowest they got so far on the retest is 053, and it's 034. That is the low. We go take a look at the gold contract. What do you have with the gold contract? Gold contract is trading out uh, down 950 at 130,000 contracts. Uh, I suspect the gold contract is going to be left at a B point tomorrow. We'll see whether it can break the B point. The B point has some volume, so it's going to be hard to break it, but with volume, that is. But we'll see where it shakes out. If it breaks it with volume, you get a price projection of 1775. The B point, eh, it doesn't have that much volume. It has 165,000 contracts. We're at 130 right now. Notes and bonds. Now, this is the number. Notes, bonds, and the dollar, folks, are the name of the game here. They're moving the market. They're going to continue to move the market. The interest rate structure is going to continue to go up much higher than the market is understanding right now. But it's going to understand it because my take is that you're not, yeah, my take right now, folks, you're not even going to get bounces. There's going to be a slow bleed downtown. And then you'll get the uh, crashing. So if we take a look at the 10 year, what you're going to see here. Yesterday, you had a huge day in the 10-year. You can see the, oh, man, this is even today you did. Man, this is, this is pushing lows with volume. Now, it didn't break, but it's pushing lows. We got to 110.30. So 110 first is the first, 110.22 is the first place. If we take a look at the, it's 3.9, 3.921. We got to 3.953 today. We go take a look at the uh, oil market. What do we have with the oil market out here? That's getting toasted and roasted. This is going to be. Uh, this is all about the dollar too, man. Uh, bottom line, this is this is wide ranging bar. Like this is dangerous, man. So you got three hundred and four thousand contracts. You're going after the swing that you're going after is uh, seventy two sixty four. We're at seventy three eighty six. 
Hey, we'll see how it shakes out, but you're coming down on volume. It's telling me that more than likely we're going to be down at the lows, and we'll see if we'll bust out those lows, and we get over to the U.S. dollar. So the dollar is the name of the game. You know, it's sticking its head up again. It's, it's built a long enough base, I can tell you that, man. You know, that's, there's been a long base. It's pulling up a bit. We'll see how this shakes out. You've heard this a thousand times from me. 106 to 107 is where I, I suspect we're going, which is going to destroy the market. And we're getting close to it, man. Yeah, you know, well, we're only at 104.557, okay? The first number, a .382 is 106.179. A 5.0 is 107.8. Now, if you go up to ICE, and what ICE is is that where you you know you build cars going back and forth, and you drop below it, that's ICE, okay? So the 50% retracement is also at ICE. So. If that's where we're going, you can expect a lot more downdraft in the marketplace. If we take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here, you got Intel off 70 cents. You got, let's see, Pelletier is, oh, that's interesting, man. I thought, oh, no, that, was, that wasn't Pelletier. So Transocean's getting smoked. The oil market's getting smoked, man. Transocean's down 88 cents. You got Apple flat. We have uh, Coinbase. That's been all over the place. It's up $4. Now it's two, down 270. You got uh, Google's really flat. We got uh, oh, Palo Alto. That's the one. That's the mover out there today. It's up nineteen dollars and sixteen cents. You get Facebook down a buck twenty-five. Inside the NDX one hundred, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. Uh, Palo Alto's the mover, up eleven and a half percent. You got uh, Warner Brothers up four point six percent. CrowdStrike's up three point nine. Taken away from it. Uh, CoStar. Oh yeah, CoStar. They were going to buy Realtor.com. That fell apart. The numbers aren't there. That's down three and a half. You got uh, Constellation Brands off two and a half. Intel's off two point six. They got they brought their uh, dividend down by sixty percent. And then NXP Semiconductor that is off two point three. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now down one fifty two. Nasdaq is off four. S and P's down fifteen and a half. We'll come right back. <laughs> 